हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ आर डी महाजन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एम आई टी औरंगाबाद प्रेजेंटिंग माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक फोर एयर ट्रांसफॉर्म लेटेस्ट सी दी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल फाइंड फोर एयर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू अगेन टू वैल्यूज ए माइनस मॉड एक्स फॉर कंडीशन मॉड एक्स लेस देन और इक्वल्स टू ए and the second value is zero for mod x greater than e uh here important one is the term mod x uh we know that definition of mod of x uh mod x is having two values plus x for positive values and its value is minus x for x less than 0 therefore we have to take the help of this definition to determine the values of the function uh this condition mod x less than or equals to a means values lie between minus a to a therefore that minus a to a we have to split as uh minus a to 0 0 to a hmm. therefore for this negative values the mod x value is minus x therefore if we substitute that value as minus x here that minus and this minus it bit becomes a plus x therefore function value is a plus x for all negative values between minus a to 0 then for 0 to a means when it is positive when x is positive the value of mod x is plus x and therefore if you replace this by plus x it become a minus x therefore this is the second value for the function f of x the range 0 to e and then this uh mod x greater than e or uh, we can add here a uh, value 0 for the values between uh for the remaining value that value is, uh zero means from minus a to minus infinity its value is zero and from a to infinity its value is zero and then as the range is from minus infinity to plus infinity we can check the function whether even or odd uh here that function is an even function how it becomes even function uh we consider these two values uh suppose first one is f1 of x as a plus x and the condition mod sorry minus a less than or equals to x less than or equals to 0 uh replacing x by minus x here we get f1 of minus x is equals to a minus x uh minus a less than or equals to minus x less than or equals to 0 and to cancel this minus sign we multiply throughout by minus sign we get it is equals to a plus x for the condition 0 less than or equal to x less than or equals to a means 0 to a original value is a minus x it is a minus x okay therefore no change in the value uh, similarly we check for the second suppose that second function is f2 of x as a minus x and the condition 0 less than or equal to x less than or equals to a i am replacing x by minus x here uh minus minus it become plus a plus x condition 0 less than or equals to minus x less than or equals to a and then uh to cancel this minus sign we multiply by minus 
that is minus a less than or equal to x less than or equal to 0 means minus a to 0 the original value is a plus x therefore no change in the function values f of minus x is equal to fx and therefore the function is an even function and as it is even function uh, we try to apply the corresponding formula and therefore Fourier transform for even function is given by root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity f of u into cos of lambda u du root 2 by pi uh, 0 to infinity we split as 0 to a and a to infinity uh, 0 to a what is the value of that function it is a minus x means a minus u cos of lambda u and the second value is 0 into cos of lambda u okay and then it is equals to uh, integrating this by uh, generalized part first term is algebraic term second one is trigonometric term therefore as per that liat rule this must be the first and this must be the second therefore first term a minus u integration of cos sin lambda u upon lambda then minus uh, derivative of this with respect to u is minus 1 uh, next integration of it it is minus cos of lambda u upon lambda and this lambda it becomes lambda square okay next derivative is 0 as this constant term uh, we stop here and limits from 0 to a okay and therefore uh, substituting the upper and lower limit Uh, when u is a, a minus a, it becomes 0, minus, 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 3 times minus, minus, cos of a lambda upon lambda square, minus lower limit, sin 0, 0, this term becomes 0, cos 0 1 by lambda square and if you take the LCM as lambda square a minus minus will become plus 1 minus cos of a lambda as the required Fourier transform of the required answer. Therefore, uh, with all these examples, I try to explain how we can obtain Fourier transform for even or odd function and how we can find Fourier integral representation for the given function. If you are watching my videos, please like and share it as well as subscribe to my channel for latest updates or new videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.